everyone, I'm here with Abby Heppy from Respawn Entertainment at the Titanfall launch party. Uh, Abby, how are you feeling? You must be pretty excited. Uh, I am. I, I'm a little tired, but I'm very excited too. Uh, it's been sort of a crazy week. You, you, when you're making a game, uh, you know, the team back at home is thinking like, what is it going to be like when we launch the game? And, and now to be here, sort of looking back on the last couple of years is, is really great. Yeah, so uh, the reviews are out now. Um, kind of what, what's the opinion been? How are you feeling about the reviews? Uh, really good. Uh, there's been a lot of positive stuff said, and you know the feedback from the community has been really fantastic, and um, it's it's wonderful because it's always that nerve-wracking moment before it goes out into the wild, and like, what is everybody really going to think? So it must be a relief to have it all kind of out there as the community manager. When, um, for example, when everyone sort of picked up on the monsters thing in the art book, and everyone's like, oh my god, there's going to be monsters, and you were, you couldn't really talk about that kind of stuff. I guess it must be a relief for you. Yeah, it's nice to finally be able to, to tell everybody sort of the full scope of what's going on in the game, but at the same time, we have all of these things in front of us, you know, uh, what are the updates going to be, what is DLC going to be, you know, how do we support it after launch, and uh, so it's like, you've just finished, but your work has just started also. Yeah, so how have, have the reactions been coming into the, like, the Twitter account? Have there been any kind of unusual reactions from people? Yeah, you know, we've heard from a lot of people who, who don't normally gravitate towards first-person shooters, yeah. but they're really having fun and really enjoying it. And um, it's great feedback for the team at home because I know that that was something that they really hoped to accomplish with Titanfall. Yeah, so what's, uh, what's next for you guys? What are you going to do now that the game's actually out? Well, uh, as much as I wish that we all just got to go off and have a vacation, uh, the team is already um, you know, working on the content that follows this, uh, working on the DLC updates that are covered in the season pass, um, working on adding uh, private matches to the game, uh, so free updates, paid updates, and also um, you know, doing any patches, fixes, rebalances that need to be done. Um, and then you know, we have our team that's up at Microsoft, our network engineers, that are watching the game roll out across the world yeah. and making sure that we're aware if there's any issues, how to get those fixed quickly, communicating with customer support to make sure that if people do have questions about the game, they can contact, get an answer. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, You've just you've launched, but you've just begun. Right, exactly. The the private matches thing is that a big priority for you guys? Because I know that's uh, a lot of people have been asking for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And and we knew that it was something that the game would need to have. Uh, so we're working to get it as close to launch as, as humanly possible. Because yeah. uh, they are humans that are working getting all of this in. As much as we'd all like to take a break and have a drink. <laughs> we, yeah, right. We were speculating about whether um, it's going to be picked up by people for esports. Is that something that uh, you guys are interested in at Respawn? You know, there's a, a ton of interest from the esports community, and um, it's sort of this this weird thing where you you want to build a game that's first and all, uh, first and foremost, really fun, uh, really gets people's attention, um, you know, and has a lot of potential. But if you concentrate, you know, for you know, on making it an esports title, and it doesn't get picked up by that community, you've just wasted an awful lot of development time. Sure. So you know, now we're sort of taking that all into account and evaluating and seeing, you know, what really can be supported, and um, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. There's definitely been interest. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool that you guys, um, by virtue of sort of launching at the same time as the Twitch update for Xbox One, you've kind of become the poster boy for for Twitch. How do you guys feel about that? Awesome. Uh, that was great timing because, you know, one thing that we've certainly noticed is that people love to make videos of Titanfall because you're sort of telling your own action story and yeah. creating these cool action sequences. We've seen so much video content since the beta, uh, so to be able to do that directly from Xbox One is just added bonus. Okay, so uh, just finally, um, obviously you do a voice in the game, you play Sarah. Um, maybe not many people know that, but how was, how was that for you? Uh, it was really fun. Um, it was such a such a sort of random occurrence, you know, back in the days uh, before we had like a script lockdown and casting lockdown, we would just fill in, uh, you know, voices for characters and mine stuck. And it's great because, you know, I'm always out talking to press and everything. It feels like my little tangible contribution to Titanfall. And it is really surreal to hear my voice go, stand by for Titanfall. I'm like, TV, I saw it on TV. I mean, that's, it's, it, it's just really incredible. I'm so glad they gave me the opportunity. Yeah, you were at the, the Microsoft E3 conference, right? That was your voice that came on over the... Yeah, that's, that's uh, awesome. sometimes, some of my friends didn't even figure it out until the game launched. And so, yeah, and then they're like, wait, that's you. And it's, I'm like, how did you not pick up on that? And I'm sure all my coworkers are totally annoyed hearing me nag them all the time that their Titan is ready. Do you get everyone asking you to do their voicemail messages now? I have gotten quite a few people that are like, oh, just, just do it. Yeah, just, just let, let me record this. Of course I do. Like, it's fun.